Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to perform a factory reset of your Windows computer. So this should be a fairly straightforward process and we're going to jump right into it. So I would recommend that you watch a good amount of this video before following along with it. The video itself should not be that long before you actually get into the factory restore process because there's a couple of things I want to point out along the way. So without further ado, let's jump right into it and we're going to start by opening up the star menu and you want to type in control panel you just want to open up the control panel from the list here so it should be pretty self-explanatory and depending on your view by settings up here I have it currently set at category view but you can set it to large or small icons if you want I'm going to go underneath the system and security area on the left side here first section and I'm going to left click on back up your computer now, if you had a backup already set up on your computer, you're more welcome to go back to that. But if we're looking to perform a complete system refresh, we want to go underneath Recover System Settings on your computer. So we have a couple of choices here. Now, if your computer came with Windows on it, so if you bought like a Dell, HP, Samsung computer, there should be an option just to restore back to factory settings as well. However, since this is more of a retail copy of Windows 10, meaning there really was no factory settings to be restored back to, we're going to have to use the Windows installation disk that I've downloaded from the Microsoft website. Basically, as long as you have a valid ISO file, or even if you have the DVD that you installed Windows on your computer with, you're just going to have to rely on that to reinstall Windows with. It's a little bit different than how it is on Windows 10, but it can definitely achieve the same result. So in my case, because I'm using a virtually a retail copy of Windows 7, I'm going to have to reinstall using the Windows installation disk. And I already have a DVD inserted into the computer. So when my computer restarts, it's going to go off of that DVD. So I'm going to select this option here. It's going to ask, do you have a Windows installation disk? Windows cannot find the required files. So you might get a pop-up saying, do you have a Windows installation disk? If you have a Windows installation disk, click yes, and you'll be prompted to insert the disk later. If you have a recovery disk that came with your computer, check the manufacturer's instruction for use. So I'm going to select yes right here. So again, this is pretty much a point I wanted to make when I first said that in the beginning of the video, just to hold on for a second, because it's going to depend a little bit on exactly what kind of Windows 7 you're running. So it's going to say, do you want to back up your files? I actually would suggest that if you have a flash drive or something, back up your documents, pictures, why not? Because that is going to be lost when you restore your computer back to a factory state. And then you could obviously just put it back at a later time if you want. But if you're going to do a clean factory reset, you're going to lose your files on here. So I just want to put that out there. It should be pretty obvious just from the name of it. But we're going to select skip. Just in my case, I don't have anything to back up. So then we're going to be prompted to restart our computer to continue the recovery. If you're restoring your computer from a system backup, you will be able to select a backup date if more than one exists. So I'm going to just left click on restart here. And we can see that Windows is loading the installation files because I did put in the Windows disk, installation disk, just before we got to this. Now you want to select the keyboard input method then select next. Be sure you want to reinstall Windows. The existing Windows installation will be moved to the Windows.old directory. You can retrieve data from that location after the restore completes. Any program you've installed will need to be reinstalled using the original installation disk or files. If the operating system is protected using BitLock or Drive encryption, protection will be suspended. 
After Windows is reinstalled, you can resume protection on the drive from BitLocker, Drive Encryption, and Control Panel. This later paragraph probably applies to very few of you guys, so you're not going to really have to worry about it. So we're going to just left click on Yes. It's going to say, do you have a Windows installation disk? I'm going to select Yes because I do have one. And we can see it's going to be starting off of that disk. And now it's just going to go through the process of installing Windows. So this will take a few minutes to run.
Okay, so at this point you have to enter in a username for your computer. So name it whatever you want. And then you want to left click on next. Type in a password if you choose to do so. If you don't want to enter a password and just leave them blank, you can do that as well. I'm just going to select next here. Change the Windows Update settings if you choose to do so as well. I'll say ask me later. Set your date and time settings. Select next. And then set up your network options as well. Hello everyone, so recovery has completed, do you want to restore your user files? So if you had any files backed up beforehand, you could left go and restore my files right here. Otherwise, you'd be pretty much good to go. Again, this would be an additional option on top of what I just wanted to show you guys in this video. But I do hope this brief video was able to help you guys factory reset your Windows 7 computer. And as always, thank you for watching, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.